for your science. We are in lesson number 8. We have finished till this safety at school. Today we will start with safety on the playground. That is the place where you play. All right. We play game to enjoy ourselves. Sometimes to win, player break rules and play rough. This may lead to injuries. Remember to play in the right spirit. There are some rules we must follow while playing. Okay, so if we all play to enjoy with our friends. But sometimes even to play a game also, we play for a competi competition. And so with that, in order, to, in order to win the game, sometimes we play very roughly. So if we play rough with our friends, accidents might of course, we might get injured. Okay, so here it says that uh, it tell us it tell us to remember to play the in the right way. Okay, so there are some rules. If we follow, it will be good for us. Number one is always follow the rules of the game. Whatever your coach, your teachers told you to do, you have to follow the rules of that. Number two, play in a safe place and not on the road. So you should not play on the road, okay? When you play, you have to play in a safe place, in a good places. Next is, do not play rough games. So it says, next, never throw the ball, bat, or any other object on your friend. He may get hurt and both of you may end up in fighting. So when you play, you should not uh, throw your um, playthings to your friends. If not, you, you might get hurt. And in through that, you might start fighting between uh, between one another. Okay, so you should not do all these things. Now, safety on road. We should always follow safety rules on the road to avoid getting injured. So, in order to save, save and protect yourself on the road, you should follow the rules. Number one is never play on busy street or road. Busy street means when there are lots of vehicles or when there are crowded people in the street or in the road. Okay, you should not play. Two, always keep your ear open and alert for the sound of approaching vehicles so you should be alert okay on listening the sound of the vehicles while you were on the road next always walk on the footpath so even on the on the road there are a small spaces that is called footpath you should always walk on that place all right next cross the road only at the zebra crossing so you should cross the road where there are zebra crossings uh, sign all right next while crossing the road first look toward your right then to the left and and then right again if the road is clear then cross the road so it says when you cross the road you should always turn to your left and right and if there is nothing you can walk you can pass through that last point whenever possible use subway or overbridge to cross the busy road so if while you were walking on the road if you saw a bridge between the road you have to go through that you have to pass only on that subway or on the bridge all right <clears throat> next first aid first aid is the first help given to an injured person immediately after an accident underline till here so first aid it is an ad, okay? Before the doctor arrives or, uh, or if anything happened to you, we all put frost, we put some cream, like the tolls and all, all right? So that is called the frost ad, okay? Giving to an injured person. Some uh, follow this point while giving frost ad. So when you put the frost ad, what must we do? Number one is stay calm and do not panic. So you should not be rushed or you, you get panic or getting too much scared okay do do not crowd around the victim so when a person get injured there should be a less person okay surrounded the victim the injured person because we need to leave him or her a space so that the fresh air enters on him <coughs> next if there is bleeding if blood is coming out in that injured person tie a clean hanky that is handkerchief over the wound you should tie it on the injured part so here are the examples showing if a person get injured wash with the water and cover the wound after that applying the antiseptic and after that wrapping the wound with bandage tying the wound part with a bandage okay next 
keep the wound at a higher level than the rest of the body. If the victim is badly hurt, take him or her to the nearest hospital or clinic. If a person injured uh, is more serious, you should not keep that person at home. But immediately you have to take that person to the clinic or in a hospital. All right. Next, you can help by calling a doctor or asking an adult to give first aid. So if anything happened to your friends or to anyone, you can even get help by uh, call. Uh, calling to a doctor to a nurse whom the number you know or even to a person who is adult okay who are elder than you all right so that's the end of this lessons your homework is that you have to write this vocabulary word safety accident zebra crossing and first aid write all this in your copy okay and fill in the blank will also be your homework question and answer i will give you in our next class all right